Hey tubers, Joe, Mr. Faust coming at you with another Home Depot Siege review. This is an attic fan that has blades. Okay, but this fan, this is the solar portion right here. Take this off naturally. This is the solar part. It runs off of solar. So once your, once your temperature and your attic hits 75, this thing will come on automatically off the solar as long as the sun is shining. Okay? It's got a platform on the bottom. Right down here is the exhaust air. So it pulls the air from the attic and pushes it out the sides. Okay? So this thing runs off of solar, but it also has an inverter plug here, okay, that changes your 24 volt to 12 volt, which the solar runs off of. And at night, when there's no sun, this thing will run off the plug. Now that's optional, you don't have to plug it in. But if you do, and it's hot at night, it'll run all night and cool off your attic. Okay? Now I'm going to revert back to the owner's guide. Because I don't have a job right now where I can actually install this and show you. So what basically you're going to do is it comes with a template right here. Okay? This is the same size as the opening on the fan. You're going to go in the attic, measure in between your rafters, you're going to drill a hole in the middle of where you want it to be, and then from that hole, see the hole right here? You're going to line that middle hole up with this hole, and then you're going to, you're going to trace around the outsides of this with a pencil or a pen, and then take your saw, a jigsaw I would use, and cut the hole out as here. You want to going to want to pull your shingles back. Now if this is new construction, it's no problem. You just install it before. But uh, on this this is an older house. You pull the tile back, okay? And you're going to you're going to lay it in place. And I would put the tar paper around the bottom and then put your shingles. On this case, it's tile shingles, but I would do it with felt shingles, whatever shingles. I would pull them back very carefully so you don't wreck the felt shingles. And then you're going to uh, cut your hole, put the fan in place. And then you're going to put your felt tiles, your felt shingles back in. Or if you have tile, you're going to put your tile shingles back in place. So this thing is basically going to save you energy because daytime it will be running off solar. And uh, it's going to save you energy because you're not using, you know, your power. But at night time, if it's real hot, I mean, you can opt that it don't run at night, or you can plug in the plug, and it will run the 12 volts to run the fan. So this is just another way, you know, that you could save money. This, uh, this solar panel has two positions. I have it on the upward position. Then you can put it down on this position, or you could put it flat. But you want to aim it toward the sun. Now there's, there's other adjustments down here, so you can adjust it 180 degrees. Okay? And uh, you can actually turn it so this panel is in direct sunlight. You want to make sure you do that. Put it on the side of the roof. It all depends on how your 
if your house is facing north or south or east or west, you know, but, you know, everybody can figure out, you know, basically where the sun pattern is. You want this panel to be sucking in as much sun, so you want it to face directly at the sun, and that will provide you with the best outcome. It's not a bad looking unit. Uh, I mean, it doesn't weigh that much. It weighs enough that, you know, you got. I would secure it with screws onto your, onto your roof naturally, and uh, make sure that uh, you don't face this bevel, this angle, toward the wind, so the wind constantly knocks at it because it will blow it off. So there's a few things on installation. You want it in direct sun, but yet you don't want because most of the time I found at a house the wind blows from the same direction. So you want to try and keep that keep this opening away from the direct wind and also keep the panel in direct sunlight. So you can go to homepeople.com Pick one of these up or several, depending on the square footage of your house. It's, you know, a pretty decent thing to have. Everything nowadays you can save power on is a benefit. So I would definitely recommend this. And like I said, it comes with your uh, pattern for your uh, opening. And everything is basically here for installation. I apologize I can't show you the installation, but just right now it's not feasible. Hey everybody, thanks for coming to my channel. Again, this is Solar Attic Fan. Quiet Cool. Made by Quiet Cool. Okay. They make two different styles. This one goes in the uh, the end of your roof, and this one goes right on directly on your roof. So pick whatever one you need. But I know everybody wants to save energy. Again, this is Joe, Mr. Faust, coming at you. Share, like, and subscribe, guys. I love. People come and watch my stuff. That's why I take the time to do this. I want you to leave the questions in the comments if you have any. But again, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Mr. Faust. I'm out.